what's up, y'all? It's me, Tasha C. And I want to say shout out to my YouTube fam. In this particular video, I'll be recapping, reviewing Life After Lockup. It's been about a year and a half since I didn't review recaps or anything. So I'm trying to get, you know, pink toe, you know, big toe wet, you know, back in the circuit of like doing my little commentary on, um, sh you know, some shows. And so our Life After Lockup, of course, is a spinoff of Love After Lockup, y'all, everyone. It's a guilty pleasure. I just got through um, um, watching it, and this is like my fourth or fifth time trying to record. You know, like I said, it's been a minute, okay? So anyways, y'all, we're going after the five popular couple situationship, addiction ships, whatever, sex and ships, whatever, lies, told, whatever, you know, all I like to call, so risk it all. Some of them ready to risk it all, their last pair of draws, and just risk it all. They just ready to risk it all, <laughs> okay? Now, um, also, too, at this, I may say this later on in the season or another video or something like that. You know, you got to be careful sometimes. Don't let nobody D you down to depression. Uh, don't let nobody uh, eat you out of your self-esteem. And don't let them suck the five senses out of your, <laughs> the senses out of your shaft. Now, y'all, take it how y'all want to get it, because some people, they begin that straight jacket sex, meaning to sex that makes them go cray-cray and end up in some situations like this, okay? So, um, yeah. Now, um, now we got Clint and Tracy. We have Marcelino and Brittany. Uh, we also have the Romulus slash Triangle Square, which is Megan, Michael, and Sarah, Roddy, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike, whatever else. Um, also, um, Scott and Lizzie, Brigish, ish, um, uh, and I think I have gotten, I think, and Andrea and Lamar, okay, but, okay, two of the couples, we base our scene from the women's point of view, because they're, yeah, it is, they actually both sets, they, they are married, but, Besides including the Ron the Square Triangle that we're talking about with the Megan slash Sarah slash Michael situ uh, situation ships. So even though he's married, but made a situation ship and said it was a relationship and, and engaged a whole other woman, you know, got a whole family, got a whole baby. You, you, get, you see how I'm saying how this all makes sense. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go by couples and do the best I can, okay? So anyways, we're going to get Clis, Clit, Clifford. I don't know why I want to call Clint Clifford so bad, okay? Clint. And his wife, Tracy. Now, they're still together. She's two days from finishing up her parole and everything. And, you know, about to possibly go to Las Vegas and stuff. You know, they can make a, a dirty love on the silk, 100% silk purple sheets or whatever the hell they were talking about, right? So, he again has to say he knows probably not good. They'll take his good, the goddess to Vegas. But, you know, he idolizes his goddess um and wants to go by that but tracy tracy has a little concern she wants to meet mama bear she wants to meet uh, clint's mama and she's just scared that if she does not get the approval from clint's mama that it will interfere with their marriage and i'm thinking like sweet if you've been with this long and he's still there you went off and took off with the car from enterprise rental and shit stuff and you still are able he still waited for you he sat there damn near with a side with glit glitter in, the, in between the letters and lines saying oh my goddess okay waiting for you to come out you know pitch up in the middle of the highway okay damn near so what i'm saying is is that actually he wants to really work it out with Trace, but he told her again if she ever gets gets caught and gets sent to prison again for the 20th time then it is over with and if he takes, she takes another card for a third time. <laughs> I'm just playing. But what he was saying is that'd be the last straw because he's tired of being lonely and waiting for whatever. But he, but she, Tracy's like, okay, your mama met all the rest of your uh, girls before. Why I came in? He would, didn't even remind her when about to go off somewhere because she's originally from Texas. I forgot, honestly, where the state at. My bad. But anyway, um, it's not the state where she's from. But she's kind of like really wants to be able to talk to mom. Every time she cry, call the mom, the mom be like decline and hang up or whatever. And she, like I said, really wants to be the good wife. And, but that's, you know, that's what Colleen is letting it be known. Like, okay, the mom's concerned. The fact that you might turn back drugs, you're a drug addict, blah, blah, blah. Um, 
And but like I said, he had to remind her when they're about to leave off somewhere that he was like, uh, oh, oh by the way, also it was eight simple rules that he had to remind her that he's been telling us every day about, you know, parole probation or something like that, you know, a little sheet. Okay. So she also admitted in confessionals that she has done some stuff, you know, to support the habit that, you know, she didn't want to do whatever. Because we still see she's still very, very small than when she began last season. Okay. So she made it like she did some strength for some some change to you know of course continue the habit now i don't know included the car and some other stuff that she didn't want to go into that we probably will not find out but mm, okay it's rug so anyway he goes later on to talk to the mom uh, about you know possibly meeting Tracy. and he's like okay she's basically like okay i know that's your wife and everything but she still is like very very concerned because if she just took off, like I said, drove off the car from Enterprise and kept going and this dangerous behavior, and she's just very skeptical. So she still, but what I gather is it still was like, it's a no as far as meeting her and stuff. Unless I forgot some notes, but I mean, I was just treated they did a close up on the darn dog. Dog is like, <sighs> why? I, I swear the dog rolled his, rolled his, eye, rolled his eyes. And it's like, really? We're we going to try that today? you know, really today, so anyways, it's still pause in that situation, but based on the preview, either, even, he's gonna come in one day with Tracy and have the mom talk, you know, like, try to say hi to whatever, because I feel like Tracy really wants approval, and we also see later on that Clint is up there kicking in the door, at least from the editing and what they're saying later on, okay, right, you don't say the Romulus slash tripod situation for last, okay, so anyway, um, the next couple we want to get out the way is Amber and Lamar. And if you've seen the follow-up to, like, the first season before they went into the second, second season, they also uh, they had the best moments, I guess, where they were, like, looking at past moments um, of last year, I think. But I know Marcy was giving some advice to Michael. It was the butt end of it. And I seen it because I, I kind of started recording so I could fast forward through the commercials, through VR. And it was saying something like... Uh, you know, Cher still got to do what she got to do. They just don't on words. But Marcel said he needs to be careful about not, you know, trying to stay, trying to be a player and stuff like that. And it, 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 I don't know whether or not it was saying like they were still together or not. But, you know, I don't know if I may, may not watch that as well. But in ways, back to Lamar and them. Now, Lamar and Andrea, like I said, Lamar ended up going back to jail school, violating, I think, his, um, I think his probation. And he was with somebody who had a gun in the car or whatever. And she was hiding on the pillow and stuff in the bed talking to her. Her Mormon sister is back in Utah. And she's just, uh, right now, she still currently lives in California. Now, Lamar is about to get out in, a, like, the next day or a couple days, whatever. Um, but very soon, okay? And she's having a, um, a, son, a, 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 um, a kind of a talk again with her kids. And they're a little bit older. And I think... Tenson, her son, I'm going to call him T until I get his name right, because I think his name is Tenson. Tenson? Tenson? Okay, her son, and she looks, she's, because she's having a talk with him, but she's like, you know, she knows it's a man in the house, but then she's talking about her son and her are like normal based with his mom, like they're very close, and I'm like, excuse me, did, did you remember the movie? Because Norma Bates was had a very dysfunctional, delusional, scary, sickening uh, relationship with his mom. I mean, her bones, if you've seen the Psycho movie where you've seen the remake of the first one, was sitting there in a hair in a bun, and he had split personalities that would kill certain people as his mom. So is that what you're trying to say? Some type of psychological stuff, psychopath stuff? Andrea, you're really going to say that? And she claims, like, she didn't know that she had that type of issue. Lamar showed her the movie, said that's between her and her son. I'm like, really? Really, Andrea, you thought? That, you, you know what? Never mind. It, 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 like, another darn bunch of dumb decisions you made. I'm so sorry <laughs> with the situation. I'm just saying, I, I personally would find it very offensive if somebody tried to say that, that he's trying to, you know, such that, that note, and you know if you've seen the movie Psycho, okay? And somebody trying to say you have a relationship like, oh, or y'all really need to sit with somebody with some black couches and sit out and try to see and go from there. Okay, because that sounds a little scary. Somebody trying, okay, never mind. Oh, say, so, um, 
she's having a conversation with the kid, but she's claiming like she's somebody new and you know she she's still mad at him Lamar for what he did. But it feels like it's a part two of the conversations about how are her kids gonna proceed or what's the next stuff, how can he win the trust again? But she again she did ask her son and her oldest daughter, I think her daughter's name is Nyla, you know, like you know, I, I think I know she at least asked older son like are you did you think he was a wild beast before? You think he's a wild beast, you know, coming out, whatever, you know, yeah, her son, like, uh, what'd you think? Was he before that? And again, it felt like, like I said, if y'all seen last season, the first season, as if here she's defending him, and her kids don't have a right to ask answers about somebody you really don't know, besides the fact that they work in their words. People say words in their but yes, they do. But as far as having time and knowing them, and, and you know, like, especially the circumstances that came with him, and... You want a serious relationship you weren't even with before you got in jail, the special amount of time he was in jail, what he served time for jail. I mean, it's just a bunch of layers. And inspecting somebody could, okay, never mind. But what I'm saying is, is that she still is kind of like thinking her kids still should be understanding when he gets out, you know, to kind of like still not have to, you know, have that guard us, but you know, let them in, you know, you know, you know, kind of letting in, don't, don't put all the armor up away, okay? So they didn't really talk about that much because she was asking her kids, did they want to go with her? And it's like 45 minutes away. And her son's like, okay, you, you know, are you sure you should go to buy? So she said, I'll be all right. Okay, Andrea, we'll, we'll see from there. Okay. <laughs> but based on what we see in, in the previews, he going to be mad and feel like he's trapped um, by her. Or they move back to Utah with him or whatever. I, I don't know, okay? But, so, besides them, now we, but now we're just going to cut it up. Because it really, like I said, they were just really in introducing. Now, the Lizzie, uh, the Lizzie and, um, like I said, a uh, Scott situation. Now, they, remember, have broke up last season. And Lizzie was back in Wisconsin. She had a factory job. She lets me know, she, you know, she's not being new for money. She still gets good money, but it's not the money that she used to get, but she's very independent. Now, of course, Scott went back to Cali, and actually, and it turns out that he broke up with the girl Jasmine because he still couldn't get over Lizzie. A little part of him still can't let her go. His best friend Charlene, bestie, go to some store to try to get him out because he's about to go on a blind date. But he says his best friend probably was jealous of Lizzie and stuff with Elizabeth and didn't like them. No, if, if probably if she really generally, generally well, since she was a good friend, but at least what I gather is it was more so probably that there's a strong chance that she really was just making sure, you know, she, the best for her friend and realized that her friend was being taken advantage of. You know what, you know, what really real friends do. When people have your back. Usually they like to, you know, like warn you of certain things. I mean, there are some people that could tell you, find stuff of certain wrong with somebody because they are having problems. But I mean, you know, just back you... You know, spending ninety thousand dollars on somebody you really didn't know besides the good. You know, just phone call stuff like that, and lawyers and all this everything. You know, it's just you know, she just was from what I gather, she just was really concerned. And she said he's sitting there, you know, scraping, you know, paying, you know, put, spend all this money on her. And he they never show how much she paid for the outfit, but he was saying it was too expensive for the stuff. And her his bestie reminded him that, like, hey, uh, you had no problem spending all this money on Lizzie and stuff like that. You can at least do once for herself. You know, you, you know, you know, Lizzie, for what I gather, got the stuff from Macy's and all them other expensive stores while he sat there and got clearance rack from Walmart. That's how it seemed like he accepted so based on who he gave us stuff, you know, like, you know, he'll, he'll do so much for others and not check back on, you know, making sure, you know, self-worth, you know, self-esteem, okay? So he's going this blind date. He never showed who it was, but we go straight back to Lizzie and her daughter. Daughter Jasmine lives four hours away, but this is another question mark in the show. Was here. Now she said, when I talk to my daughter, you know, when I have, you know, have, you know, need, you know, answer question, you know, want some advice, I call my daughter. At first, and then you know, it's like, okay, well. Maybe it's vice versa. But then she was like, you know, I call my dad. She's like the mom. And, and you know, our family, you know, our friend, our friend, you know, our family, you know, my mom in between us. And... What? <laughs> but 
that is another sad situation because if you have to ask your advice, regardless probably how intelligent this child is and so forth, but she also and already, you know, has a grown mind or whatever, know what the heck she's doing. For you to not feel that you're the parent, it's good that she's close that she's able to engage and have a better relationship and a healthy, good bond, hopefully, with her daughter. But it's something wrong where she kind of feels like her level that she feels less as the parent and thinks as the child is more responsible than her and and how she still it feels that way period or felt that way I, i'm okay i'm lost for words that something needs to be worked on that as well it's nothing wrong with her asking for advice i guess for daughter pin what it is but can her daughter ask her advice So they about to go to the tattoo shop. They talking with me. They get tattooed. They both got two tattoos. One, you know, the mom, you know, Lizzie getting the mama cub, mama bear. She the little girl baby cub. Of course, she's still so happy because she was thinking. Now it is true that Scott was enabling, but what I, I I'm like, they must have not seen the rest of the series that Scott was the main trick turn. I like you, but I'm just gonna take the trick trick word off of you. But the last time I noticed was she's been getting money. She sat there. She just, you know, she just sell one of them workshops or wherever not, whatever the heck it is. She's still probably, so, you know, it might be a couple people who have no problem, you know, paying a few bucks to know what Lizzie was talking about with you spinning game last season, okay? And because she, she's, because, you know, Jasmine's always seemed like, he's no good. I'm glad you listened to me, mom. He's no good, blah, blah, blah. Which it was some enable, you know, able, like I said, major enable, all caps, okay? all cap letters okay but he wasn't the only one and also the fact her mom dealt with issues with being a drug addict and maybe and you know the, and unfortunately the symptoms of being drug addict and all this other stuff okay she kind of was just at least from what i seen was kind of like a lot of blame what she's got but i can understand like i said he was made able but he wasn't the only one okay but hopefully like i said they continue their relationship but i see lizzie hasn't told her she still has feelings for Scott. And then Lizzie, then we're going to, well, Scott going to meet up, but not, I'm not reconcile. It's going to be like confrontation, F you, F you, whatever. And I don't know if the, uh, you know, how Scott's blind aid is at the moment. So it's going to be continued for that. Okay. So we got two more couples left. Let's get it here. Now, Brittany Marcel, it was a whirlwind. Less than a year later, you know, they got married, they have a little girl, Jean Vaughn, you know, um, Brittany's son from last season that we seen, cute, Mr. Cutie, be duty, um, came, um, was there as well, uh, well we seen a lot of him, but she still is, you know, he visits a lot and is with him as well a lot of times, and so, we see Sasha, if y'all heard about Sasha, you know, and, um, what is her name? Amanda. And, you know, the friends with benefits, but we're going to play our friends type of relationship between her and Brittany. Now, they about to come over to the house. Marcin still feels some type of way about Brittany being around the wrong crowd and possibly going into a landslide of going back to the problems of her being, you know, going back to substance abuse. So, you know, but she still, for what I gather is, y'all, you see how they got all that wine. All that other, you know, she's got wine in. She got a, she ain't got a wine glass. She just got a whole eight. I was just ready to ask him to wonder why, because he already, he still feels the same type of way about around the people. You know, be careful the people you're around. He still feels some type of way. So even when he's there, he, you know, takes the baby because you know Brittany was, you know, you know, feeding the baby, and um, they come there. And to make a long story, like I said, Mark still has problems. You know, like I said, still has a problem with them. And I'm surprised you never mentioned about also having a problem when I think, what was her name? Amanda Miss A, I'm going to call her. Because the fact is, remember, Brittany was trying to have this, I got to, I have an open, closed relationship, for what I gather is, where it could be open where I can sleep both with my so-called best friend, but my friend with benefits, um, and, and my man, or slash maybe we could share sometimes, but I'm going to have only access to, or whatever the heck it was, okay? She was trying to have a little poly, a little poly relationship there, okay? But um, that wasn't mentioned. So when they get there, and he's, oh, I guess my still seen him, he was on his way to play poker, and, you know, somebody got, basically let somebody go watch the baby while he's gone. And, you know, Brendan feels some kind of way, because he's, you know, first Sasha was saying, like, well, can I have the baby? 
or whatever one of them did. And he's even asking Amanda, well, how many kids do you have? Now, I didn't know that just because a person, whether they do or don't have any children, means that they don't know how to hold a kid. Okay, I digress. Because <laughs> he let man, the man, it turns out I didn't know Miss A has actually two kids because he asked. So he let her hold the baby, you know. Um, and Sasha was like, Well, I don't have any kids, something like that. And he's like, That's why you're not holding baby. Oh, damn. If she can't even hold a baby, what, what can Brittany decide her, her, her child too? Okay, but whatever. But again, it, it keeps making him like seem like there's so many underlying control issues on his side. You know, and then Brittany went to talk to him, let me know, like, you know, you got this problem with me, with people beating up, just be, be real, you're probably going around, stuff like that, or, you know, the issues that you have, and, you know, he just, you know, he, like I said, he's, he's concerned, you know, like, they have a little, little, like, little disagreement outside, and then he goes to sleep, but, you know, it really wasn't too much to worry about, it's kind of like the same thing, whether he's concerned about who she's around, but he, she does go to talk a little bit, and they bring up about Sasha, and actually, I think the earliest she could come out, because she did get sentenced, and I think such a website Stark has them, and also watch Auntie and Vice, because she does good reviews on Love at the Lockup, so Ashley, and I know probably uh, Jay Lee's Corner is probably reviewing the show too, probably Bobby B as well, okay, but let me know if anybody else is, okay, but anyway, um, now, Sasha was actually on, out on bail for a couple years. It was like all these charges, something went wrong. I think a temple murder, somebody got murdered, blah, blah, blah. And there's other people. And like she was, I don't know, the lookout or anything. But the earliest, because she was worried about the possibility she'd get up the maximum of 30 years. So she was in, she served four years. She was out on two years. Now she has to go back to see the remaining amount of sentence or how many years she may have to serve. And for what I gather is, when I looked on the site, the earliest they say possibly she may come out is 2025, and maybe the latest is 2033. And she was just kind of scared, you know, Brittany, Miss A are trying to tell her, you know, you know, because, you know, Shasta's Br scared. Shasta wants to be able to have, like, she's saying, like, Brittany has everything, you know, has this family, blah, blah, blah. She wants to be able to have her family, blah, 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 blah. And, I'm not going to say blah, blah, blah to that, but meaning that, you know, understanding that, she, of course, she doesn't want to go back to jail. She's afraid that she, you know, will weather so many years away incarcerated. And she was like, these things, she didn't want the stuff that ended up going down to happen. But unfortunately, it did, and you have to move on to the next step. So, uh, we'll pray positive or hopefully she can get out the earliest that she can and be able to move on with her life. So, okay, now we're back to the Romulus Triumph Rectangle Octagon, known as Megan, Michael, and Sarah. I was about to say Michelle, I ain't gonna lie, it was Eminem already, so, you know. Okay, now, Michael, just like Lamar, violated probation by some, but this time he came too late to his, um, uh, to, to see his PO by two minutes, and, you know, that was kind of like the last season where he left, whatever, and, you know, uh, we got Megan at Tess, uh, back in Texas with her friend B, and he uh, up there, you know, doing these liquid gold masses on. And guess who's doing the collect call? Megan. And she like, hey, babe. And her boy like, babe. Y'all, he's your babe? Yeah. And she's like, oh, my friend is oh, blah, 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 blah. And he speaks to him, whatever, and he's like, when you come down to Texas, I'm not get the tether taken off or something Michael saying on the phone. So he said, I'm going to call back later, and him and Meg have a talk a little bit. And like I said, he beats off talking to, you know, kind of cameras, uh, conventionals, whatever. Like, he just wished that Megan would make better choices of who she gets to, you know, be around and stuff like that. You know, like have a better, man, you know, where it's a healthy situation, it was wrong, what happened. But here go Meg letting us know in confession about the law. She can't let Michael go. She up there explaining like she knows what's going on. So if you know what's going on, whether even whether the marriage was even for a damn green card, you still are putting yourself in a situation. Now you know what it is. And but she says like also later on in the episode on and off, like, you know, if he's he's telling me one thing, but he's telling me he still loves me and he writes his letter, blah blah blah. He need to let me go. Why would he say this stuff? Because people like to lie, Meg. People like to lie. Some people do, okay? All, some, most, above, whatever, okay? This people lie. Lie, 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 okay? 
it's I, and and I notice it's the same thing what Sarah said when they have a scene. She about to give birth, so she can't go pick up Michael. She usually do every every time, usually every other time. But she wanted one a day, uh, um, any day. I mean, she was her and her friends were up there shopping, and they wondered about possibly. They even asked, like, do you think Michael maybe will be there? Blah blah blah. And but she says, Michael told me. Here's the thing: is he's told you the actions is not matching what he is saying and y'all obviously i like i said i don't know they instantly started filming afterwards uh no no no. it's not because she's nine months now but y'all uh, they obviously didn't watch that I, I don't know all i know is is that she they're both saying he's told her like i don't want the other one my uh, megan here and he loves her blah 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 and he gonna get divorced then here sarah said i don't love her blah 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 this and that i want to be with you blah blah blah, blah, blah. okay whatever okay telling them what they want to hear okay so anyways um we got like i said megan says she's gonna go up there to flint when he gets out okay she told told i think b or whatever or at least the confessionals whatever that also she also said it was a couple times she got into with sarah and then it first didn't say and it made it seem random that her his little sister i think what's her nickname tay tay or something like that tay day 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 I don't know. We go. We call this little sister, okay? Like she would just randomly say, like you were stupid, blah 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 blah, this and that, blah blah. And I even had to rewind a couple times because I'm like, they just made it seem like as if the sister attacked her for no reason at all. And then it's like, uh, no, nah, because here's what went more down in it. When, like I said, they kind of cut off with the, with the Sarah thing, you know, but like Sarah said, you gotta get ready to have a second baby, and you told, like I said, Michael and his R&B 90 songs, and he took some part of, tell them, whatever, okay? Um, so, like I said, Megan, like I said, Megan is like, I'm telling you, I ain't going nowhere, ass. It's up here, like I said, gonna go up to Flint, what about Flint, about two, one or two hours away from whatever, go up to Flint, and you know like still she's been bested two years and i'm like sweet no offense but it's people who have invested three four five six seven and nine ten eleven twelve years or more into that and sometimes it could still be a waste okay but she's like i'm not gonna let this go this is special that's what i told you about getting deep you know deep down to depression or getting eat, eaten out of your self-esteem so anyway uh, um she, like I said, does not want to let this go. You know, she, you know, it's going to be different. She knows what's going on. She wants to see Facebook blah, and it's something she has to tell. I was like, "What you got, Mono?" I'm just playing. But anyway, it's something she has to tell Michael, and she keeps saying that a couple of times, but she ain't telling that. But she had to probably go wait to the last third episode for this. Okay. So anyway, she drove her behind from Texas up here. Okay, and um. Well, foot, like I said, this is Rockman. Like I said, I'm from the D. I'm from Detroit. Okay, so that's what I'm saying, like up here. Okay, but a little past. Okay. Anyways, so she wants to even ask the mom because, you know, the mom, but she now she feels something. I now this one have to look at uh, Megan even sideways, even more sideways, like this. Because she all like, the mom, I want to ask the mom because why she didn't tell me. Now, it is wrong because that is major enabling. enabling and then she didn't tell Sarah what's going on or uh, Tara's what's going on or. Especially Sarah, because she was married to something, you know, been around, but didn't even tell, like, you know, make, like, it, you know, he ain't worth whatever. But I think that's for the, really, but I'm like, are you really going to, so you going to fuck the mom? Uh, is, is that, is that your choice? Is that your final answer? Do you think you really want to go with that? Uh, do you know what the consequences is for, the, you know, probably for that possibly? Okay, then. You want to take that decision? You want to be a little risky tonight? Okay. So anyways. She, you know, we got this last scene, and already sisters like, I don't want to talk about them. So, like I said, Michael's sister and the mama there. And, you know, um, I think I forgot who pulled up first. And, of course, it was just like, I don't want to talk. We got into it. I don't want to say anything to, you know, to Megan, blah, 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 blah. And it still was like, huh? Well, what? what? Why did you get into it in the first place? Did anybody think if I said Michael, his behavior? Anybody say anything about Sarah talking about that? You know, that's the final right choice. And I, you know, now you're going to be a statistic like she's the safer white, the uh, super white person that uh, saved the black person. I mean, that's what she said. Like, now you're going to be statistic because, you know, of your decisions. Like, oh, okay. Oh, really? Hmm. All right. But anyway, so 
it turns out like the in between and then megan's like you know i'm gonna talk because you know they got also camera in the car with michael's mom's sister whatever and mom was like you know megan's like i'm gonna talk to her so she wants to she started knocking at the window and the mom said we just tell her that you don't want to talk to her. and you know but mom it's not like uh she better get away from the car it's the little sister like i don't want to talk to her blah 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 and she mom was the mom was like first like just try talk to her whatever and then she like no but you would just tell that so maybe get out the car here come the music do 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 sound like a bootleg of game of thrones theme song and i always <laughs> i don't watch game of thrones but i've heard the intro but you know what i'm saying just the haunting you know confronting action music somewhat and then she knocking on the window but the sister does come outside but she's like walking away like i really don't want to talk to you and she's just like you know like you know, they really didn't talk, but she's like, really? You didn't come, you, you really don't want to talk to me, so you will act like we didn't talk or anything like that, or used to talk, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And Megan also wanted to tell us, like, she also, before she confronted the fam, which that could have went completely to the left. And it might still go to the left, we just haven't seen it yet, okay? She wants to say she did more for Michael. Okay, so she wants cool points, uh, golden stars, and some cookies for oh i did more for his and him and his family i'm like and hey, you want to talk to them ain't gonna see this you you, you still you still sorry y'all this might be jumping a little because of the lag because i'm using my webcam but anyways you, you, you want to do that you you really want to do that okay so she wants to also remind us so i don't know if she just figured in her head that was going on or maybe that's what he told her to get make sure money's on the books okay Revenue was always on on point. Whatever. This is what much of say money on the books. So, cause she claimed like he couldn't even get a response from this little sister. Whatever. Um, an email. And they didn't have communicate with him, or they did this, or I did this. You know, I you know, and I deserve love and everything else that she was trying to get us. So, like I said, she started. She was like, and when the sister's like, you know, I don't want to talk to you, blah blah blah. And then she saying, I think then the little sister would say something along the lines of. You know, she called herself getting mad at me because I defended Sarah. And Sarah was like, I don't want to talk to you. She just kind of walks away, whatever. I don't know if she was going to get Michael. She was walking towards whatever. Door. I don't know. All I know was she was walking away. And Megan says, confessionals, F you. And remember, she still got to tell Michael something. Because she said, that's our love. And, you know, that's our relationship, blah, blah, blah. But then she went in front of the sister. And the sister, like I said, is mad. Like, okay, well, she a home, you know, like, uh, she's the one who's married to him and blah, 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 blah. And it's like. Yeah, that's true. She knows that now. And but I'm still way now, okay? So my whole thing, yeah, it's foolish that she sat there and continue to continue a relationship with somebody that's married. Even if the marriage is toxic, he is still married to Sarah. She's about to give birth any day now to their second child, which means he was raw dogging her when he was with her before they even got their little one, two day, whatever Niagara Falls, but you know. Uh, you know, smiling near the war, um, waterfalls, okay, so, and then she said, maybe it's your confession, well, F you, whatever, but she don't say to the sister, she said a confession, well, F you, whatever, you know, Michael's little sister's name is, I'm like, I'm just gonna say little sister, because I'm tired of keep messing with people's names, but, yeah, so I'm like, what the heck, so I don't know if the bomb she's gonna talk about next, but that's what's true, too much, to, to the be continued, basically, so that's all I got, hopefully, I did okay, whatever. But anyways, y'all, <laughs> like I said, I gotta get, get back used to this again. It's been a year and a half, and then, um, yeah, but this looks like it's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, if y'all checked out the season preview in advance trailer. But anyway, y'all, y'all tell me y'all think about the show comments. Do y'all like this show? I'm just saying this. It, it's pretty interesting. So y'all get ready. No black and finish out this whole season. All right. Hugs and loves, everybody. God bless. Y'all enjoyed y'all weekend. Happy Father's Day. Happy Grandfather's Day. Happy that you're a big brother and you seem like a, a slash you, you are your father to, uh, to some kids. You're a mentor. Happy big, you know, so forth. So, okay then, y'all. Y'all enjoy this weekend. And if y'all have your birthdays, happy birthdays, y'all, the weekend, next weekend too. But I'll be back soon. All right, then, y'all take care. Good and love again. All right.